What's happening with the Jordan Lake market right now? Red hot. Could not be any more hot. <laughs> no, seriously, that, that 751 corridor, um, Martha's Chapel Road, Holland's Chapel Road, Farrington Road. I mean, there's just there's so much going on. Of course, you got Durham coming down uh, from the north, South Point, that whole area. That's that's in, that's coming into Chatham County. You have um, Cary coming in that area, and even Apex coming into that area. So <clears throat> it's really mind-boggling. I mean, prices have have probably doubled in the last two years, which is shocking to us. Um, notoriously poor soils. You cannot get a conventional park site out in that area. We always say the reason why they build a man-made lake there is because it holds water. Holding water, not good for septic, but uh, we're talking engineered systems of 25, 50, even a, over $100,000 for septic systems and wow. people are doing it because they just want to be there. And it's an excellent location. I mean, it's close to RTP, it's close to the airport, it's close to Beaver Creek, it's close to Chapel, it's close to a lot of things. So that, um, that what we would call the northeastern corner between the lake, between Durham County and between Wake County is about as red hot as it gets. Um, because that area is so hot right now, the other area that's east of the lake, Beaver Creek, um, Pea Ridge Road, New, New Elam Church Road, um, that area is also doing incredibly well. There's some dangers there though because uh, New Hill has a giant wastewater treatment plant. You don't want to be too close to that. Um, there is uh, a nuclear reactor. Not many people want to be too close to that. It's a little somewhat frightening when you get iodine pills in the mail. Um, uh, in the news a lot lately are some coal ash dump, the coal ash dump site. Nobody wants to be near that. You know, there's a plywood plant, there's a brick plant, there's, there's a heavily uh, industrial area. And so, you know, that has some challenges when you get when you get into that little area that we call the kickstand or the queue or Moncure, it gets a little bit tougher. There's some beautiful areas in Moncure, but those are challenges. Uh, railroad, um, flight path into RDU, US-1. I mean, I really think with US-1, that area ought to take off so incredibly fast because it's it's a back door right into the raleigh Cary area. But um, closer to 64, red hot south toward us one not as hot and then when you get onto the other side of the lake um, south of pittsburgh all the way down to moncure on the western side of the lake um, there's some beautiful beautiful areas that i really don't think uh, a lot of people know about i have a hundred acres for sale there for like eight or nine hundred thousand uh, beautiful soils right next to a subdivision and it adjoins Chatham Park, the future development Chatham Park. And so Chatham Park will be going down that way, but we're probably, you know, 20, 40 years away from that happening. But there's there's really a lot of unused boat ramps and um, uh, it's got nice rolling topography. The soils aren't as bad over on that side of the lake for whatever reason. Um, when you get closer to 64, like uh, the other half, North Pea Ridge and Seaforth, that area, super, super hot. New high school going in on Seaforth Road. Um, and then uh, probably um, the third hottest area is that Big Woods Road. Um, we have several uh, subdivisions there. The Preserve Golf Course community has done very well. Um, the legacy has changed builders a few times, uh, but it, it seems to be doing pretty good right now. And uh, Windfall is um, another subdivision that, that's, that's doing pretty well. So that whole Big Woods area has been pretty hot. So, And then uh, when you get closer to um, the northern tier up by Chapel Hill, you got Governor's Park, Governor's Club, Governor's Village, Governor's Lake, Governor, 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 everything. Mm -hmm. That whole area, pretty, pretty hot. I mean, it's not really good access to lake, and I don't think those people are really thinking about the lake, but they're close to the lake. It's more proximity to, to Chapel Hill. That's, that's big. But Jordan Lake property is smoking hot right now. We're lucky to have such a beautiful recreational area, and um, the people that appreciate the boating, the fishing, and the and the lake for recreation, I think, are really happy. Um, but that 751 area, as hot as hot gets right now, very hot.